life There's greatness inside of you Let's do greatness with love Unleash it in the greatness of The greatness of His love Transformation that you can have Coming from God above Welcome to the greatness hall Welcome to the greatness hall Almighty Father, we glorify and thank you for this day in showering us with so abundant blessings. We humbly come to you to guide us and help us in understanding your words through this meaningful episode. Please bless each one of us as we go through and engage ourselves on how we could clearly conduct our works with spirit of joy, passion, humility, and enthusiasm to find ways to excel in our works. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Good evening, everyone. And of course, to all the music lovers, art lovers, and of course, to all the viewers of TGH. Welcome again to another Virtuosity evening with your host, your truly Coach Bev. I hope you had your sumptuous dinner. And for those who are still in the traffic, please stay safe and may God be with you and guide you on the road. As for the families who lost their loved ones because of the pandemic, our dearest sympathy and prayers from Virtuosity. Last week, we had three performers who are teacher, who were Teacher Rodney, 
Teacher Lai, and of course, the Diamond Seniors from Dahlia of Calgary, Canada. And of course, it was really a great, great experience watching and listening to the Filipino folk songs and their renditions of condiments. But for tonight's show, it is going to be unique. We know that music and religion have played integral roles in human life since the beginning. While it often isn't given the credit it deserves for carrying musical traditions, religion continues to influence and of course shape our musical tastes. Let us watch this video so you know what I mean. Religion has certainly played a significant role in the propagation of Western music in the country. It is believed that the history of Christian religious music in the Philippines began when the first Mass in the country was held on March 31, 1521, Easter Sunday in Thanksgiving for the safe arrival of Magellan and his party. It was during this occasion that the natives were able to hear the chants of a Mass for the first time. The first sounds of church music that the natives heard was the Gregorian or plain chant, which represents one of the oldest surviving Western music traditions. Later on, more elaborate music such as polyphonic and harmonic styles was also performed. Friar musicians composed songs for religious purposes such as hymns, chants, and Christmas songs. Father Manuel Arostegui, a notable composer and conductor in both Spain and Manila, was referred to as Agustino Filipino and became known for the many religious compositions he wrote, including a grand mass for full orchestra with organ or piano and four or eight voices such as O Salustaris Hostia and Motete Al Sismo, Salve, Flores de Maria and Ave Maria. Convents and colleges run by different religious orders such as the Augustinian, Franciscan, Jesuit, Dominican, and Recollect orders serve as centers of musical culture during the early days of Catholicism in the country. Priests trained young boys on music and playing instruments, as well as making the instruments themselves. Among the well-known legacy for the Recollects is the famous bamboo organ of Las Piñas built by Father Diego Quisera de la Virgen del Carmen in 1816 with the help of the natives. Outside of the confines of the church, religious music was also heard in the community and became part of rituals associated with Catholic faith, including the Pasión, Sinaculo, Flores de Mayo, Salubon, Santa Cruz, and Panuluyan, among others. Moreover, because of the opportunity to utilize music both in the service of the church and the community, several Filipino musical composers and performers flourished who eventually contributed the evolution of folk music. Music and religion have played integral roles in human life since our beginnings. While it often isn't given the credit it deserves for carrying musical traditions, religion continues to influence and shape our musical tastes. Religion, re, religion will always continue to play a role in the evolution of music, while its impact it's, isn't qualified or quantified in record sales or mainstream appeal. Meaning to say, the value of this music comes from how it encourages participation and thanksgiving amongst the listeners, just like our contemporary religious music today. Even the religious order adopted this music 
in order to give inspiration and impact to encourage people, touch their hearts and souls through music so as to deepen the relationship with our Almighty Father. For tonight's show, I am overwhelmed in introducing our featured guest artist. If I may, this group, if you take a closer look on this group, we are just going to simply think that they're just simply a group of religious order. But this group is headed by a Carmelite priest and it has caught my eyes and attention because of their simplicity, distinct virtues, and of course, numerous talents. I feel very elated to introduce them to every viewers out there to make use of their talents for a mission and a purpose to inspire to give hope to the hopeless, restless, and doubtful souls, to uniting relationships through their original music and song compositions and facing life struggles during their this pandemic times. So let us get to know this. Their first, uh, first, their head and founder of this talented religious group, Monte Carmelo. Let us all welcome Father Rico Ponce. Good evening, Father. Can you please share something about yourself? Uh, good evening, Bo. Good spray at sa lahat po ng inyong nagapultan kilik ng inyong programa sa lahat ng nagasunod ng virtuosity. My name is Padre Rico Palaca Ponce, a Carmelite priest, the present prior provincial of the Carmelite order in the Philippines uh, of the province, please Titus Fransma, and also a founding member of the Monte Carmelo Performing Artist. When and where and how did the group start? Our group was organized as the, at the start of the coronavirus pandemic. We are located at New Manila, Quezon City. I would say that the pandemic had tragic impacts to all humanity. But many people also discovered many ways of facing and coping with COVID-19 pandemic. People have discovered their talents like in baking, in cooking, selling, dancing, wow. and even in taking care of plants. At the end of the day, challenging the negative situation into a positive situation is the way to go. After all, it is never easy to handle anxieties, fears, and weariness these days. In the case of the Carmelite Friars, one way is through the gift of music. We have set our reflections into music with the album called Guide Post. With the changes and challenges of the pandemic, we have pulled our talents together until we have organized a group called Monte Carmelo. Our group have been jamming in communities, later realizing that the joy in creating music can be shared to uplift the spirit of those affected by this pandemic. All those sessions have resulted in an album that reflect that very same joy. So how did you come up with the name, Father? The name of our group is Monte Carmelo, which is simply taken from the Spanish, uh, which means Mount Carmel. The artists are Carmelites who wish to share to anybody in every corner of the world our Carmelite life, our gifts, and our spirituality, and our talents. We hope and pray that through our songs we can make our humble contribution in making Carmel known, that we can radiate positive values, optimistic views in life, light over darkness. So how many members do you have now, Father? 
at the moment, the members of our group is 12. And generally speaking, all of us are selected Carmelite friars. Your vocalist, pianist, guitarist, violinist, if any? Originally, our song is composed of the following. Our guitarists are Brother David Capacio and Mr. Jesred Ali Mohani, Yukilili uh, by Rico Ponce, keyboard by Brother David Capacio, violin, Father Brian Espivo, Redemptorist, uh, vocalist, Brother Rolando Mamites, Mr. Boots Alcantara, Brother David Capacio, and yours truly. Our music engineer is no other than Mr. Jisril Ali Mohani. How many times do you practice, especially now that it's pandemic? Since we live in the same compound, it is very easy for us to gather for practice, especially when we are asked to perform in Carmelite events, in Carmelite gatherings, uh, like fundraising projects. Yeah, what is your repertoire follow? Our first album is entitled Guidepost. It is an eight-song collection that speaks about love and how God reveals her, His purpose for us in these trying times. Indeed, the entire album is mostly based on my personal experiences during the pandemic and is also reflective of our life as Carmelite. The title track best describes the mood and the theme of the album. Love gives deeper meaning to everything in life. When we feel love, we feel most alive. When we love others, we are connected with God. With God. Life becomes meaningful and challenging. We are now working on the second album, and these songs are also composed by other Carmelite friars. Who was your group's greatest influence to set up a group like this, Father? We are very much all, uh, encouraged by a famous Carmelite historian in the name of Father Joachim Smith. In his book, Mero of Carmel, he mentions that Carmelites are famous in music. According to him, as early as the 1500, the Carmelites were already considered as composers and theoreticians of music, profane as well as sacred. So with our songs now, we hope to continue the legacy of sharing our gifts and charism through music. Did your group receive any awards or commendations? Our group was formally launched only last year on the feast of St. Teresa of Avila, the Carmelite saint. We don't have an award yet, uh, but we are very happy sharing our gift of music. What was your memorable performance or concert of the group in life? Although why? our group was just new, we were one of the lead performers during the fundraising concert of the Carmelite Order uh, December of last year, Pasco sa gitna ng pandemya, and last June, 19, uh, 2021, Sangala ng Ama, a tribute to St. Joseph and to all the fathers. Can you tell us your upcoming shows or performances or please invite our viewers? We invite everyone to our next uh, concert, Advent Concert Recollection on December 4, 2021 uh, Sagrada Familia Kamandalakbay ng Pamilyang Pilipino. We also invite you to listen to our songs, which is available in Spotify. And uh, we invite you to get a copy of our uh, Plus Drive album, which is available in Shopee. Just search for Monte Carmelo. How about your website or page, if any? For further details of our activities, please visit our Carmelite website, uh, carmelitesph.org and our web page, our uh, Facebook page, Philippine Carmelites. Any parting words or takeaways, Father? 
Now I would like to take this opportunity to thank Coach Faye for this wonderful opportunity of being part of the show of Virtuosity. This is not only an entertaining program, but is also enriching and inspiring. May God bless your show and all the followers of your program will be embraced by the protective mantle of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. God bless you all. God bless you, Father. Ang galing-galing naman. Um, there are three things that we need to remember. This sa sinabi ni Father, no? Yung Spotify nila ng Monte Carmelo. And of course, yung flash drive. So, it's all out in Shopee. And of course, yung kanilang upcoming concert this December, December 4, no? Galing naman, Father, you really impressed me and your group. So we are really blessed. And thank you so much for introducing Monte Carmelo, whose members are from the Orders of Carmelite Friars. But before I let them in and let them perform, let us have a commercial first. <music> Before anything else, I'd like to make a recap on last week's episode of the Diamond Senior Sandala of Calgary, Canada, who will be performing on September 4 and 5 at the Summer Festival. So, kumusta kayo dyan? And, ayan na, makikita niyo sa picture ang festival nila. They will be performing there. Gandang umaga yata dyan, ano, sa Can um, Calgary, Canada. Mr. John Pagsanghan and the senior Rondalia here that are there. That's the Diamond Rondalia. Tama ba? Diamond Rondalia. It's the Diamond Senior Rondalia of Calgary. Calgary. Hello there. Hello from um, uh, Virtuosity here in the Philippines. And of course, I would like to ask for your help for Roy Travon's fundraising project for epileptic patients. Please don't forget to click the page that um, we're just showing to you right now. Um, please uh, donate or uh, at least um, pray for uh, this patients um, because um, one of the epileptic patients is also right on. Anyway, so um, let me also give you and invite you uh, tonight's worship night at 8.30 p.m. together with the new Levite. Uh, group you live by praise and worship group which is um, of course of course i'm the founder and and um you'll be seeing me there so if ever just drop me a message um through our website or page which is newly white voices so if you want to deepen your relationship and have biblical biblical insights you may join us it's open to everyone anyway so without further ado, my friends and TJH viewers, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you Monte Carmelo, who will be rending on, rending up, rendering us their original songs, Malayang Handog, Guide, and Take Courage. Malayang lumilipan 
Again, let me promote their album, Monte Carmelo. You'll find it in Spotify. And of course, ang galing talaga ng promotional, marketing promotional. Ano nila is, um, now it's um, out there sa Shopee in USB form, ang kanilang album. It's so great. And you will see it on the screen. It's so nice to see. So very unique ang kanilang packaging. So congratulations for Mon Monte Carmelo. And of course, kukuha din ako niya, mag-order ako. Pari-serve na rin ako, Father Rico. <laughs> Thank you so much. And of course, I uh, would like to, please, I want to invite you also to watch, uh, not to watch, but to join us for a praise and worship night, prayer meeting, fellowship, and um, sharing and um, biblical insights tonight at 8.30. So we'll just uh, send out the link doon po sa ating um, page ng Newly Vite Voices. You can just um, drop in there, visit my our page, Newly Vite Voices. So you'll see different kinds of um, different talents din din po dot, different people and different religions open to any kind of religion. So if you just want to know about the Lord and just... Um, Put it all out. Uh, ito po ang tamang uh, uh, community that you can go into. Anyway, so we, um, I would like to congratulate again, Monte Carmelo. Thank you for sharing your gift of music to us. I really do agree with Father Rico and believe that the changes, with the changes and challenges of what we are facing now, we really need to realize that there are so many, many ways of coping up with COVID, meaning this is somehow God is talking to us to discover more of ourselves. Of course, most of all, our inner talents, discover more of what we can do and how we can become and reconcile relationships and deepen our relationship, of course, with God. What Monte Car Carmelo has shown to the world in line with virtuosity's advocacy and the greatness Hobbes vision, we can really uplift spirits through music, arts, and artistry, heal wounds, give hope, change lives, discover, develop, and of course, develop, uh, dominate the greatness within. So again, many thanks to Father Rico and Monte Carmelo for sharing your music about love and how God reveals his purpose to us. And finally, of course, as for all the viewers out there, thank you so much for watching out my show, Virtuosity, where great skills and talents in music and arts and artistry meets every Friday from 7 to 8 p.m. before your excellency. And of course, thank you, Greatness Hub Channel, and I help coaching and business solutions for believing in me and of course with virtuosity because here in the greatness hub we discover we develop we dominate the greatness within and remember your talents are a gift from god and what you do with it is your gift back to god god bless everyone and good night Mabuhay kayo.
Music and Arts International Corporation envisions itself to be one of the world's finest center for the music and performing arts. Part of Virtuosi's core value is excellence in training. A student at Virtuosi will undergo intensive training as a student learns the rudiments of playing an instrument, study of musical notations, and musical skills while learning and instilling discipline, education, and loving the art of learning, appreciation, and become God's young music ambassadors in a society today. Virtuosi Music and Arts International is not only committed to the development and formation of quality musical artists, but its mission is to also help the government eradicate poverty by providing equal employment opportunities to unemployed artists and out-of-schoolers. To fulfill this mission, Virtuosi forges a partnership with the government, the academic and very key organizations within the private and public sectors, and effectively created numerous school partnerships. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to know you more and delivering your words through this enlightening session. May each soul who watched this episode may be blessed, inspired, and receive the answers with clarity to their questions and who have been seeking for your guidance, mercy, and unconditional love. All of these things are not possible without you. May you continually bless us with your wisdom and strength. Always keep us safe, including our loved ones, until the next episode. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. <laughs>